What we are witnessing is a massive cover-up by the media and social media establishment for a tremendous amount of irregularities and alleged fraud by state officials, local officials, campaign officials, and much, much more. It is the self-proclaimed journalists of those media outlets and the executives of social media platforms who constantly call out any voter irregularity or fraud allegation as fake news. They are undermining the constitutionality and democracy of the United States. Otherwise, they would be the first ones calling for investigations into the allegations in order to protect election integrity. But they don't, and they haven't. And this is not just a problem in the United States. The media establishment in Israel and other democracies do the same thing in their reporting of our local news reports as well. Instead of honest reporting, they provide an agenda-driven narrative to brainwash the masses and create a perceived reality that shuts up everyone who might think otherwise. Anyone who heard or saw the Trump legal team press conference on Thursday cannot deny the vast amount of alleged election irregularities and fraud, including the signed and sworn affidavits, which are evidence. Now the real court battles begin with the presentation of all the evidence. Why have I been so vocal about all of this? Because this is way beyond just a United States election issue. Again, one, in I do this in order to provide a voice for everyone who is too afraid to voice their own opinions because of the horrendous brainwashing and bullying by the left led by the agenda-driven media establishment that is actually threatening people's jobs and tearing friends and families apart for daring to voice support for Trump or claim that there is alleged voter fraud in the election. And two, I'm vocal in order to try to provide information to wake up those who still watch and trust the fake news reporting of the media establishment everywhere, not just in the United States. And three, I continue with my voice in order to instill a sense of hope in people who truly care about election integrity, justice, and yes, that President Trump still might win and that they are not alone. And they should not be too depressed by the constant fake news of the media establishment and the comments they get from friends and family to shut them up. And I get it all the time as well. I have stated from the beginning of this election mess that I believe President Trump will win because he came with a plan to win in order to catch this election mess in the act to then make the changes necessary to protect as best as possible all future United States elections. And if I'm right, the landscape of the media establishment and social media companies will be forever changed due to their active cover-up of it all. Instead of going through my whole thought process again explaining why I think Trump will actually come out to be the winner, just watch these videos of mine from last week that I linked below. And no, Joe Biden is not president-elect. He might be one day, and he can call himself that now if he wants to, but no, according to U.S. law, he is not president-elect. Now we wait and see where the evidence takes us. Pulse of Israel, frontline videos from the Holy Land. Support our work by donating today.